Welcome to Scaredy Cast, everybody. You guys, Tony's gone under a transformation. What? What happened? <laughs> I think no. he just got a haircut. I'm going to say it's the lipstick. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. You're looking beautiful today, Tony. Thank you. No, actually, who do we have joining us today, Brian? Psych, we got Gabrielle That's Guzman from Frumious Reads. You guys have probably um, either heard her on our Scary Con uh, podcast, also um, just mentioning and passing because you come to a lot of cool stuff with us, and mm-hmm. we go to like events we together, a lot of and cool stuff, so. yeah, and, and yeah. you're like we we're always hanging out. So if you guys haven't heard of Gabrielle. Also known as Frumius Reads on Instagram and probably other things, but I'll like have everywhere. her tell you all that. <laughs> um, so yeah, tell us like everything that you do. Everything that I do. Yep. Well, that's like not... tell us everything. Yeah, tell, me <laughs> everything. <laughs> tell us all I'll about just it. Put what's in my Hinge profile and Ooh, just say it out loud. Whoa. Wait, what's in your Hinge profile? Okay. I need oh. to know. I'm mean in my hinge profile, actually. You're like, don't come over it's, here if you're not, if I, if you're Literally, not it's like the first me. one's like, a, no, I don't want kids. No, I don't want to hear about your startup. Uh, and no, I'm not going to sleep with you on the first date. That's Dang. not mean. So. That's just being like, yo. But you know what? It's like so crazy is I bet 95% of the men that like try to match you or whoever, like, it's just not, like, probably don't even read it. They're oh, just absolutely like, oh, not. I'm just looking for something casual. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm married. <laughs> yeah. I have kids, but my How wife doesn't know you want? Literally first sentence, none. Gosh. Easy answer. So, Craziness. Yeah. When I had a hinge, um, I just put, I like turtles. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. Oh my God. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, yeah. and then it just, it's too much work. It's, it's too exhausting. It gives me anxiety. You have the same five conversations every time I'm over it. So. And like, I just like, I can't like open. And it's like all these people. And I'm like, bleh, 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 and I, I, ew, I don't like it. Yeah. It makes me feel weird. Yeah. It's really weird. So I agree. Uh, but not making me feel weird except for in a good way. It's having mm. you here. We're so excited. Yeah. yeah. So for anyone who actually likes serious <laughs> like oh things that are well researched um, about yeah. stuff. Yeah, like not not what you come to Scaredy Cast for. Um, your podcast is absolutely amazing. Thank you. It's You're so, incredible. I'm like here and you guys have like an actual studio and it's like there's lights and there's cameras and there's like a background. I'm like, wow, this is so much fancier than my little closet I read with my little Yeti <laughs> microphone. Mm. But, yeah. you know, what's your fun. What's Everyone your podcast about? So it's called A Murderous Affair, like Duchess, but murder S because oh. it's only women, Ooh. right? Because I'm sick of hearing about Ted Bundy. Yeah. If I have to hear about and Ted how Bundy. hot he was. God, I hate him so much. <laughs> Let's yeah. represent the girl killers. Listen, I had literally, I have a shirt actually. It says feminism, women could be murderers too. Oh, and man. it's like <laughs> my favorite shirt that I have. Um, yeah. So it's all women who are either murderers, rebels, uh, you know, people who were labeled as like wild and got like a bad rap in history. History, and we never know about them, so I decided I was like, I want to talk about them. Just and general badasses. Yeah, exactly. Do you so. have a favorite or like a oh, couple? Oh yes, I do. Um, Catalina de Arraso was one. She was a nun who passed herself off as a man, murdered like. Well, she was a soldier too, so she, half that I feel like doesn't count as murder. But she also got in a ton of bar fights, oh, ended up yeah. getting caught because she had like at that point like forty kills, Damn. and got caught, got brought in front of the Pope at the time in the eighteen hundreds. This is in Italy. This is in. So she was from, um, uh, God, like a bunch of different places in South America. Like she started in Chile, and then I think Colombia, or it and was, they sent her all the way to the Pope. Yeah, Spain, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you're that bad. <laughs> yep. And uh, because you know it was very Catholic, uh, (laughs) they're like, "Ma'am, unless you're molesting little boys, like this is all right." So, but she got pardoned from murder because she was a virgin, technically, and so therefore she was. How do they know? Isn't religion fun? It's so fun. (laughs) It's great. So that's my that's my favorite story. Wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. So she killed all these people, and they're she like, "Yo, this is too many people. We're yeah. we're gonna put you yeah. by the pope and stuff." And she's like, "No, but I'm a virgin. Well, I haven't had sex." No, they literally were like, "Oh, you're just like you're a wild woman, and you're like." But she had all these like women, female lovers, and like they had sex. But because she'd never had sex with a man, she was therefore still like still still pure and could be sent to a convent to atone for her sins. <laughs> Wait, she told them that she had had sex with women. Yes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Other women are like, that's hot. That doesn't like, count. That's <laughs> coming back with us in the spank bank. Oh, no, he's like, yes. five Hail Marys and let me watch next time. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's wild. Yeah, so <laughs> history is just really, really like hot. a long, drawn out soap opera that not a lot of people And realize. she got away with it. She got away with it, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Why? I mean, assuming that the people that she killed were deserving. Uh, yeah, like some of it was like, 
for work because she was a, like a soldier in war. And then so it was mm-hmm. like, well, these guys were starting bar fights with her because they thought that she looked, she passed herself off as a man, but they were like, well, you look really feminine, so let's fight. And then she would kill them. And, you know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. So because she would just go out, get Jesus. rowdy. Yeah. So that's why she ended up being like a serial killer. Because mm-hmm. these yeah. guys wouldn't leave her alone. You hear exactly. that? Exactly. You know it always what? Comes yeah. back. A Here lot of people, a lot of people are lucky it's not the Wild Wild West days. Even oh. though it probably wouldn't really happen in that, because we'd probably get messed up with that too. But yeah, yo, mm-hmm. she's my new hero. I can see why that's your favorite. Oh, she's uh, yeah, absolutely my favorite. Dang. So she's real cool. Yeah, but you find all these women who are like, yeah, I would have never heard of them if mm-hmm. I hadn't like gone looking to find them. So I was gonna yeah. say, how do you find? Because you're right. We hear a lot about serial mm-hmm. killers, or I mean, just crimes in general that are um, that are done by men. Mm-hmm. And I think because, you know, they, it's just so notorious, they become really famous. You know, you mentioned Ted Bundy. Ted, Ted Bundy. Um, what? How are you able to find these women? Yeah, so it's a lot of digging. And I, so I have like three websites I use. I use this website called like Rejected Princesses, and they're amazing. And they're fantastic. Like the author behind it is fantastic. It's literally, he's, the tagline is uh, people who should be Disney princesses but aren't. And so I go to them a lot. And then um, there's this website called Murderpedia, which is basically Wikipedia, but for murders. And so you could actually, that one's good. You could sort by like gender there Mm -hmm. and find it. But what I found the most is most annoying is there's either no details at all or the same articles are printed about like the same person Mm -hmm. by different sources. So like if you Mm -hmm. actually want to know anything, you have to go in and look up like birth records. You have to see what's available in like the public domain with like a history of like newspapers and stuff, like what was printed around that time period. You do all this? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. We show up. What are you talking about? (laughs) I'm like a real, this is probably also, I'm like, I'm a real history nerd. Like I love mm-hmm. reading about history. Well, I love books and everything too. So just reading about it and That's you know, incredible. yeah, it's, it's real fun though. I, I think it's fun. So. I mean, we were literally in awe. So you mentioned, you know, scaredy con, um, yes. how we all met. Yeah. yeah. And it was so amazing having you there. And what we were just in awe about is that you were just there for an hour just being able, you had so much research and you were able to say so much literally by yourself for an hour. That yeah. is no joke. Yeah. So the amount of research that goes into it's like, how long would you say, or how much time does it just depend on how much information is readily available? Yeah, it depends on the information available. It depends on how reliable that information is mm-hmm. because you can read something that's like published multiple places and then find out like, oh, that's all based on a rumor. That's not actually true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, So how reliable is it? Um, How many of these stories are like actually people taking their own interpretation versus people actually speaking like just facts about what happened? Uh, So I'd say if it's like just an average person, it'll take me like – maybe three or four days of research and then typing up everything because I have to remember it all, right? And then uh, making sure I'm citing everything. So, and then like recordings like an hour or so and then editing. It's just me. So it's like Dang. the consistency is I'm working on it, but mm-hmm. that's the downside I think of, you that's know. A but that's a lot, a lot of time to dedicate mm-hmm. to this. Yeah, so, and yeah. that's just one thing you do. I know you yes. do like, that's your mm-hmm. podcast. So like, what yeah. else do you do? So I do a lot. I have like a lot, a little bit of everything. I do um, book reviews a lot because I love reading. Like reading is one of my favorite things to do. So I do a lot of book reviews online. Um, all kinds of books or different? All or kinds like, of books. Oh, okay. So I, different like, genres. Yeah. And then I do a lot of um, like live stream book resale, which uh, is really fun. But everybody who watches is always asking me for like, oh, do you have Colleen Hoover? Do you have uh, whatever the new, newest <laughs> like spicy books things. are? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's the uh, Kingdom of Thorn or uh, something? Court of Thorns oh, and Roses. That one. That yes, one. Yes, I, I yes. heard all about I that. Saw, I saw this stuff on TikTok. I was like, what the hell's going on? There's a bunch oh of horny God. people up in these comments. Mm-hmm. What's Dude, going TikTok on? TikTok is nice. I'm, I'm yeah. in book talk. Yeah. Listen, any kind of British guy who goes on book talk, immediately like everybody swarms to him mm-hmm. because that's just like, I don't know, the male archetype in most of the books that people read on TikTok. And, but like right now there's this huge, like just smut, spicy romance book craze. And so mm-hmm. of course, like the people who, when I go live on um, the show, I they always get asked about it. They're like, well, have you read it? What do you think of it? So now I'm like forcing myself through these various books and some of them aren't bad. 
And some of them, I'm just like reading scenes. I'm like, that just doesn't sound like it would it's feel like good. Sexy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, it's you're like, like okay. this wasn't written by someone who actually knows what women like. <laughs> I don't Dang. think. <laughs> so. Like, Colleen Hoover is not a woman. Y'all need to step it's, up your smut game. Yeah. All right. Basically, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, really though. Because we are the leading voice well, in literature. Know. Yeah, and Brian's working on his own. Your smut. Bigfoot erotica. Yeah. I am. It's uh, well, I. I'm thinking June. We got oh. we're narrowing down some dates. See, and mine's coming out in May. So oh not God. erotica. Did not write erotica. Wait, she, <laughs> she said mine's write? coming out. I think it's Bigfoot uh, porn. You know, she yeah, she's trying to beat you. Actually, from, yeah, yeah beat she's you like to the placing oh, you. To if, men. You're, if you're if uh, <laughs> you're throwing your uh, whatever they call it, like your your hat in the whatever. Hat in the ring. There you go. Yeah. That's the one. See, I'm I'm already doomed. If she's like, yeah, okay, fine, I'll make Bigfoot erotica too. Well, then I'm out. I'm yeah. not even gonna try. No, I'm not. gonna You actually just join forces. Oh, oh hey. make it, so let's you make do a series. One book, one book, and then like just gather like you know just a bunch of like Bigfoot erotica lovers. Okay. And then there's a genre there for sure. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And then once it's like okay, they both gain, and then imagine mm -hmm. you have both. Fandoms. Dude. It'd be the It'll be like the biggest collaboration in the history of. Uh, It'll be the biggest, footest, smuttiest. Love the that. biggest <laughs> the and the footiest, footiest and, and the, the smuttiest. smuttiest. I'm, I'm down. You also yeah. heard it here first. Perfect. Um, no, so, okay, so you're writing Bigfoot Erotica. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what are you writing? So I actually just recently finished writing this book. It's I say book. It's like a collection of short stories and poetry, um, pulling a lot from various like fables from around the world. Again, a lot of women because there's a lot of mm -hmm. fables about women, but the popular ones are a lot of like oh like then they fell in love and it was happy or you know it was um, then she slept with him and was punished and so it's like it's not a lot mm -hmm. of like in depth type stuff. So um, a lot of like poetry and then like short stories and kind of retellings based on various myths um, and fables throughout the world. Mm -hmm. And there's some stuff about like, you know, love, of course. And then there's like death and kind of like the universe as a whole and without it sounding super presti uh, pretentious. If wow. that doesn't sound what? super pretentious. Yeah. yeah. That's so yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying June. Is that like a release date or is that's when you're going to May. Gonna... May. Oh, Mine's June. His is June. I know. So, She's just so excited. So is it? She's it's so finished. Excited. It's finished. And so it's going to be printed. It's going to be published and out. And out. What? Yes. Crap. So it's going to be. Um, That's incredible. Oh, my God. I could say the title, I guess, because it's like a completed thing. It's called um, Blood in Your Eyes and Other Small Tragedies. And it's going to be on like Kindle, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Um, you could, I think, available for pre-order on Barnes & Noble on like March 30th. That so. is Whoa. so yeah. fucking cool. You're like a celebrity. Yeah. You're a yeah. public oh, author. You're going to be like number one New York Times bestseller. Oh, it was Dude. Just, that oh, could you imagine? That would be like the coolest thing what in the world a dream. if that happened. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, we'd be like, we have like. You know what happened though? We'd never see her again. Oh come on! <laughs> she, no, like, no, 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 no. She, I know her enough. I'm on my book tour. She take. They're like, you know what? Give us like three more. Here's a five to ten million dollar check plus whatever sales you make, and then she'd be like. All right, because you <laughs> want to travel the world, and that I is do. something that I Absolutely. know. I do. That's I'm trying to hit a country every year, and mm -hmm. I missed a couple of years because, you know, COVID sucks. But um, I've hit, like, 22, oh, I say. I Yeah, so. Is this with or without cruises? Like, without. Without cruises, yeah. What? Yeah. That's so. more than a country a year. Yeah, there's a couple uh, where I did like I think like five countries in like a two week period, and that was just it was chaotic, but it was super fun. Oh so, my gosh! Dang. Yeah, girl, you're gonna be like a sugar mama, just oh, traveling dude. the world. That's the dream. Signing, signing books. Yeah, <laughs> Drinking. and signing some other things. I'm sure. Well, you you better. Well, if we work with the book Bigfoot erotica, then <laughs> absolutely signing a bunch of feet. <laughs> oh my god! I'll sell like three books. One of them, one of them's gonna be my parents, just out of. Just one. That's just not one. Yeah. Two, like each of them. No, no, they'll buy one together, you know, and then the other. Would two. you want your parents to buy that? No, they're, they'll just do it to support me. And then it's just going in the cupboard. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Hubbard my cupboard. mom. Well, even with like Scaredy Cast, like my mom, uh, like some of the things we talk about, like, yeah. and she loves us. She adores everybody in Scaredy Cast, and she's so happy. But she's like, you know, I just it's just not for me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, all right, mom. God. Meanwhile, my mom is like neck deep in all the smut books. She's the one sending me all the recommendations. Oh, and I'm like, wow. I should have never let you read Fifty Shades. It just like went downhill from there. Oh, man. <laughs> so. You want to hear one of the most 
It's like, it's something that's burned in my brain. Already, yes. Whatever <laughs> it is, I'm already on board. So every summer, um, I grew up with my grandma. And then so we would go to visit my great-grandparents back in Nebraska City, Nebraska, the home of Arbor Day, in case anyone didn't know that. Um, and so, you know, it's like the typical, like, great-grandparent house. Like, you know, it's yeah. like kind of creepy, like old stuff everywhere, whatever. And we'd always have to go to bed really early. And I would just be, like, laying in there. And, like, she had all these books in there. And I was, like, looking around. And I just, like, randomly picked one. And it ended up being, like... <gasps> like a smut book like at my great grandma's house. Yes. And I was oh like, <laughs> and I started reading it and I was like, I don't know, 14 or whatever. I'm like, what is this? And I was like, wait. And then I, and my cousin was out of the room and I was like, Shabby, like, come here, come here. And I'm like, look at this. What is that? And she's like, where'd you find this? And I was like, great grandma, great grandma was reading this. She's oh like, God. Yes. Oh, so oh, gross. No. Yeah, like my so my mom will pop into my live shows and I'll be like, oh, it's this book and this guy's having like sex with the doorknob and it's like it's what? that's a real thing. Yeah, that's a book that exists. Does like he, in the keyhole. Does he put his butt in the doorknob? I don't doorknob? know which way so, facing. I don't, is he so giving God. or receiving with the door? Yeah, listen, like a I glory think, was the door the catch? <laughs> really, <laughs> you're asking the in depth questions here. Um, also, no. what was the title? Asking for a friend. God, I don't even remember. It was just like a book that came up. She's like, well, what's the book's title? What is this? What? Is, where She's do you like, find it? I'm like, why? Are you saying? She's like, like door. Um, She's, She's gonna kill me. Is what's you're gonna like, happen? Uh, you're like. Every time before you go into your house, you're like, mm. Mom, can I touch, can I open the door? <laughs> oh, did you sanitize? Did you sanitize? <laughs> hey, Tony, <laughs> what's a good name for uh, for a, a porn with a doorknob? Here, Tony, come in so you can ask knob. your questions. Knob? Knob. <laughs> slob, slob on my knob. <laughs> like corn on the cob. Something about knob just being so, I knew he'd just have knob. a name. He's good God. with that. Yeah. Tony, you want to come ask some questions? You want to come in here? You want to come lay on the table like those people that we uh, eat sushi off of? All right. All right. We still have 20 minutes. You have stuff to talk about. I got a lot to talk about. Oh, okay. Okay. So now we all rock, paper, scissors. Who's uh, who's Tony replacing? Come in here. Yeah. Here, Gabrielle. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here. Come in my seat. You can here, have okay. your seat back. Wait, before no, no, you no. go, before you go, before you go. Uh, Gabrielle, how can people find you? Yeah. Where, um, you know, when <laughs> Tony's going to be, Hi. you're going to be Donald Trump when like Hillary was talking in the 2020 <laughs> oh elections. <laughs> I'm going to let you finish. But. Oh, no. All right, Kanye. <laughs> um, so if anyone wants to follow you, if anyone's interested in your future projects, when your book comes out, like where's mm -hmm. everything that they and need to get? Can, oh, can they pre-order? I don't know. They can, yes. Ooh. Starting March 30th, you can pre-order on Kindle and uh Oh my God, what's the other word I'm looking at? Barnes and Noble. There you yes, go. Noble. And there's a lot of people that listen to us that might want uh, more crime. Mm -hmm. So mm. definitely check our podcast out mm -hmm. because yes. true crime is way bigger than like horror stuff. Yeah. And uh, she does her homework. Okay. Yo, cool. absolutely. Like, honestly, imagine. So when you make your millions from your book, of course, then you're going to be able to do whatever you want. You're going to be able to travel the world and also have like researchers to be able to like oh. help you with all oh that. That's my dream. dream. That's yeah. absolutely the dream. Yeah, absolutely. You can yeah. fund my Bigfoot research. There you go. Oh, okay. You know what? We're collabing. <laughs> We're business partners. You said. <laughs> oh, you need to get on your you own two feet Someone first. Like okay. Clout chasing over here. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. As always, um, Gabrielle's also joining us to watch. Late Night with the Devil. Late Night with the Devil. Tonight. Tonight. We're going to watch it. I'm not a horror movie person, so it's going to be a real fun experience, oh, man. guys. <laughs> I'm I can't yeah. wait. It's going to be so good. Tony yeah. was creeped out about the trailer, so I'm real mm -hmm. excited. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the only one. I'm just going to go, huh, the whole movie. Every time something scary well, happens. Well, I don't want to sit by you, then. I'm going to go, huh. Uh, we'll see. Oh, no. I'm going to be yeah. the one to make memes off of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Thank you so much. Of course. Always Thanks for having me on. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, yeah, you can find me at Frumious Reads on basically all social media. Frumious Reads. Spell yes. it out in case people uh, don't know how to spell it. But can you do it like a jingle? Like, F-R-U-M-I-O-U-S Reads. That's Frumious Reads. You I think did I don't it. know how I can beat that. Yeah. Uh, was, that was exactly it. Uh, yes. Well, sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to, <laughs> didn't mean to deflate it. Like, me. oh, Gabriel, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. All right, Tony. All right, Tony's chomping I guess at the we'll bit over here. Can you let Tony back inside the house? Uh, yeah. Can you let him back in? I just, first of all, have to show you guys this picture. Um, Tony sent this to me. <laughs> just look at this lady. Just no. look at her face. Tell me, Florida woman. Just look. Just look. She whiz. Not Florida. <laughs> That's not real. Come on. Iowa. Um, 
<laughs> you got family you got, there. You got some got, familia. I got my in-laws in Iowa. In -laws. My kin is in Iowa. My kin. Um, okay, when... You, you actually were just talking about this today. You know, when people don't answer your text messages sometimes. Oh, yeah. All the time. <laughs> or maybe it's, it's like, like a having, It's like when you got a podcast with like two other people and you have a bunch of ideas and stuff. What? But, but you don't want to move, story? You don't wanna move <clears throat> forward with these ideas until you get their approval because it's an equal partnership going on. What's the rest of the but story? But then two Kelsey days go oh, by and you're like, God. I really God. like to move forward with these ideas, but they haven't Tell asked me yet God. because they're just... Jerk it off somewhere. I got to say. Brian. Yeah. Why is That's it Brian. me? Because you're the one that doesn't answer a lot more than she me. She can jerk off too. Just yep, real quick. I can multitask. We said. Uh, <laughs> you guys this, don't want me to work like, and masturbate this, this past time. Saturday. <laughs> I was like, I'm hey doing guys, it right now. let's go see Late Night with the Devil after the, the, we record on Thursday. And we're all like, yeah, cool. I show them all the trailer. I've been texting like, dude, what cool. if we all like, we made it a meet and greet. We like sent out like, hey, anybody else come to see it? Come meet us. We'll all go see it together and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, like, two days later. I didn't answer that part, but I answered that I wanted to see the movie. Two yeah. days later, Brian texts back, movie? <laughs> Even and, today and, in the and, car, and, he's and, like, what and, movie are we going to go see? Where and, is this and, at? And, and who was first to pay the ticket price? Who Brian was first was. to send you the money? Brian was. Because uh, I'm was right there. Johnny on the spot. And then when you said, remember the movie? we? I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember last week. But just saying, like, I don't know. I just need a little refresher. That's all, man. Whatever. He's, he's a little refresher. He's just a little refresher. refresher. And as bit. soon as you were like, it's the late night. It's like, like, old, oh, yeah, he's like yeah. an old car. I'm like an old man that you just wake up because I fall asleep in the couch. Actually, him, like, that did happen too, that we had to wake you up <laughs> because we were waiting outside your house <laughs> for like 10 minutes. <laughs> was it 10? Yeah, you guys should have called in like, well, a minute and a half. If I'm not down there or responded in a minute and a half, call me. I'm just going to start calling you every time. That's a good idea. We should call him like when we're like five minutes That's away. a really good idea. Mm, I'm gonna, yeah. Two. I'm going to call you. One and a half. That's we not, carpool that's less because we're responsible. We love the earth. Um, all right. So what is not responsible is this lady who clearly looks cracked out. Oh. I will just say. She was wandering around. She thought she was at a friend's house. She goes and knocks on the door a few times. Oh. Who is it? A Does it? But she doesn't get an answer. Oh. Oh. So she sits down. Sits on the porch a little bit. She's like, you know, collecting <clears throat> collecting some stuff out of the street, collecting some stuff, whatever. Yeah. She goes and knocks again. Doesn't get an answer again. Mm. What the hell? What do you think she proceeds to do? Mm, uh, uh, messes with still more stuff in the street? I don't know. Collects more items. Yeah, what's she doing? Screams at the ring camera? Well, <gasps> the ring camera did capture footage of her lighting these items on fire on oh. the porch of what she thought was her friend's house because they don't answer. According to her, she was not trying to, like, hurt anybody. She wasn't going to let the fire get out of control. But because there was a sign um, that said, witch is welcome, and she identifies as a witch, oh. she's like, well, I thought that, like, you know, this was just, like, the right thing to do. So arson? Seems like the kind of lady you'd meet at a bar one night and you get in the <laughs> truck with her and drive off. And like she is like grossly obsessed with Stevie Nicks. Yeah. Is that what happened? That's not the same lady. Oh, oh dang. Yeah. All right. I think that was a little bit more close to home. No, but basically she was just wandering around. She was high in something because she ended up getting charged with reckless use of fire slash destructive devices oh. and possession of drug paraphernalia. It's just a prank, bro. This I thought this was my friend's house. I was just trying to burn it down, LOL, JK. She probably thought she was collecting poop and was trying to do one of them knock-knock poop things, you know? And she lived in a, Would you ever do that to your friend? Because I wouldn't. Yeah, like that's the biggest thing of like sh her thinking that this was a friend's house and that's why she's knocking Grabbing all the shit. Like, okay, some of the stuff that she lit on fire, some of it was like clothes, which maybe oh some my of her clothes. Does it say what part of Iowa? Let me see. Like, just like. Is that going to throw like, some like, TNT on their things? roof? Throw an egg at their door. Yeah. Something harmless. Burlington, Iowa. No. You ever heard of that? No, maybe they got a coat factory there, though. Mm. Mm. Oh, I nah. get it. <laughs> she had a car's taillight, <laughs> tin foil, bark, a yellow lawn flag. She and cut open a fucking <laughs> shark. <don't> <laughs> she got. She brought a tiger shark with her. And it was just eating everything. Like she was every plate. <laughs> I just picture a scene in Jaws where she's like pulling out like a license plate, yeah. and like other <laughs> shoes. It's like a beach whale, and they have like ten thousand yeah. plastic bags. I'm not gonna let that damn kid your boy spilling <laughs> out all over the dock. <laughs> okay, say this was your friend that was here, even if they're like hi, whatever. Okay, and they light your stuff on fire mm -hmm. in front of your house. Are you still being friends with them? If they look like that, 
<laughs> so, because she so gives she looks. gives crackheads. How many other man. friends do I got? We would never light your porch on fire, Tony. I meant like, is she my only friend? She's your best friend. Well, she's oh. going away for a little while. Oh. You'll see. <laughs> she's going in the clean. Is my house okay? Yeah. I think it's. I don't think it like it got out of control. No. So Probably. it just caused like a little char spot where I she just, just can't just... imagine the things that she had like all together like really being that. How did you just have like a piece of a car light and like I, clothes I, that's the and biggest like thing. what is going on and what. What, does what that have to do street with do they live on where all these items are in that road? <laughs> also, I mean, they're in Burlington, what does Iowa. being a witch, why did that seem like the right move? Like, oh, this is a blessing? Am I she's blessing high, your house? She's high on meth or something, so oh, I yeah. can't even imagine that there's a lot of thought really going there besides, mm. like, I'm going to light this on fire. Yeah. So that's our creep of the week. All right, Brian, you have a story? No. No, I have three stories, but only if we have time. You want to pick your best short one? Nope. Okay. But I can tell you about a movie I saw. <laughs> Let's go to oh, movie news. Oh, boy. Nope. Let's review some movies. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, uh, it's a movie that we already talked about. Oh. But I want to talk more about it. Okay. <laughs> Summer of 84. Mm. Oh, yeah. Because this was, this was our homework that we were This was assigned. not recommended. This was, like, forced upon us. Like, you guys need to watch this movie. And we're like, fine. Fine. <sighs> yeah. Fine. So we watched it. Because you were like, I want more horror movies where bad things happen to children. And I was like, boy, <laughs> do and, I got one and, for you. And not you like the standard, like like Chucky, like, oh, the little kid yeah, gets no. tormented by the kid. No, no, no. Or like, oh, the poltergeist, the girl, you know, the, the little kid. No, 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 no. I'm saying like. So just heads up, we are going to spoil Summer of 84 because we're going to talk about the ending. It's not new. No, but there's also not. It's not new, but yeah, it's not like well known enough. So we've you know. over the last yeah. few episodes, we've given you guys examples of movies where bad things happen to kids. Like one, a pit bull, pit bull viciously attacks this little girl, and it is like out of nowhere, and it's brutal, and it's like what the hell? When evil lurks. Yeah, and that's mm. yeah. I was blown away. But that away. whole movie though is like very graphic and yes, horrific. and uh, the other one was also a Spanish movie. Um, like almost exactly in the same vein as when evil lurks. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't think of the movie title right now. I am blanking on it. We well, just sure. talked about this like two weeks ago. And it's another one where something happens to the kid and you're like, that's crazy. Like, cause that, you, there's no way, you know, you always think like, ah, kid will be fine. Mm -hmm. There's no way. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyways, with this movie, it's not as, it's not like in your face graphic, like, you know, here's a kid all, like, cut up or something. It's like, no, 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 no. It's something so much worse. Like, the ending of this movie. It goes from zero to 100 real quick. It's like if the kids yeah. from Stranger Things encountered, like, Ted Bundy. Exactly like, like that. It's it not has some, very Stranger it's not Things some monster thing. It's like, oh, no, you're, this is a real serial, mm -hmm. like, serial killer and you are children. It like. seems like, oh, there's these kids in a playhouse or a treehouse, and it's like, oh, this is just like the the, the crazy mean man on the, on the end of the street, and it turns into an insane story, and you're like, oh, yeah. boy. So these kids, like, they see this kid in this guy's house, and then a couple of days later, this kid is missing, and they're like, well, it has to be that guy because I saw him in that house. And then, but only one kid saw him. Yeah, so, like, these kids are trying to solve the mystery of, like, where this kid went, and while at the same time trying to prove that it's this guy that did it, but the guy's a you know like a police officer in the town. Yeah, so that's like, what makes it and worse. He's, like a yeah. hero. he's a cop. Yeah, and to the kid that supposedly saw the missing kid in this house is really deep into like conspiracies and like you know it's like the guy that has like you know the the Charlie Kelly things all like taped up on his wall yeah. like you know all about like alien conspiracies and he's things like that. He's got all the newspaper clippings of like Bigfoot mm -hmm. and alien sightings and stuff. Uh overall I thought it was so good. The ending really was the it was just enough silly and playful but also kind of like ooh this is kind of fun. Yeah. And in the end it's like you, your smile you're just like oh it goes away. You're like yeah cuz oh. it's like oh they're going to save the day. They're the kids. They're, mm -hmm. It's the Goonies. And but then it's like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, we're My definitely going to do a lot of spoilers. Um, so the whole time you're watching this movie, I'm really used to in movies when they lean really heavily into like, oh, this person is definitely like the killer or mm. whatever. Like then it's like there's some kind of twist. Sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like uh, Thanksgiving is a great example with that. Um, but that usually is like the trope of this. But with this one, it's like, 
No, like it ends up being the person that they're alluding to the whole time. And in like the last 15 minutes of the movie, like it literally goes from like, okay, you're just hearing about these missing kids. You're not really seeing anything. They finally break into his house, get into like this padded room, like this padlocked room. They're like, see, it's like, oh, this looks like his old room. Like this this is just a normal room. They hear a noise Mm. in another room that's in that locked room. Here come the spoilers. Get ready. There's well, a lot of spoilers. Already I already spoiled, spoiled. Okay. I already spoiled yeah, some stuff. Yeah, it's too late, y'all. It's too late. Well, I said that's going to be a lot of spoilers. Yeah. You said there's going to be a lot of spoilers if you're still listening and you are, ex- are surprised or spoilers. That's your fault. You need to get some listening skills. Oh, dang. Um, but we still love you. Thank you for listening. Sure. I spoil a movie one time and I get raked over the coals. She spoils it. She goes, get all right. And we're well, supposed to just listen. I think you listen. also spoiled a movie that had been out for like a day. <laughs> or like wasn't out yet. You snooze, you lose. Snooze, you lose, bro. You snoozed, you lose. They go into this room and there's all these photos of the missing kid, and they're like, "Is that enough proof?" But then they open up. They mm-hmm. open up the shower curtain. The shower curtain. There's something in the tub. In the what's in the tub, Brian? Um, spaghetti sauce. It uh, is yeah, like it. the child that's missing, basically turning into spaghetti sauce because yeah. he has. What is it? NaOH or something is what they say. NaOH sodium that, dioxide or mm-hmm. sodium dihyd- 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 I forgot. Something. Anyways, N-A-O-H. he's dissolving bodies. It's super like gross, but you don't really see like a lot of kids get messed up or anything. So don't worry about that. It's not like that graphic, but it's more psychological. And at the end, you just kind of sit there and go, "Oh my god, this could be happening in real life." Like it does all the time. Yeah, because there's there's a kid in there that was also missing and like on mm. the brink of dying. They save him, but then. Yeah, they save him, and then the police are like, oh, this is our guy. So they're like, that, after that him. Motherfucker. <laughs> they're like, get him. Yeah. And you think like, oh, okay, the police know it's him. They're going to go find him. The kids are cool. Everything's fine. And then that night, our main character kid just, he's like, oh, I did it. I saved the day. And then the killer is like on the loose. They don't know where he's at. They think he's on the run. They're like, he's on the run. He's this way. He's not on the run. He's hiding in that kid's attic. Waiting for him to go to sleep. Oh, that God. scene where the ladder from the attic yep. is coming down super slow, and then you just stand him, see him standing over the bed. So he chloroforms, foams, both of the chloroforms. Chloroforms, yeah. Chloroforms. Chloroform. He knocks him out. He knocks him out, and then you see that they're driving, like they're in the middle the of the forest. The two kids. He knocks the out kids. the main kid yeah. and his friend. Who was my favorite kid? Oh, I yeah. love that kid. It's like the equivalent of like Mike and Dustin from Stranger Things. Mm, yes. Yeah. It's uh, it's like super bad. The skinny and the chubby kid. Yeah, with the curly hair. Yeah, and R.I.P. Yo, dude, sad. Oh it my was, god, they, he got him good. Like that oh, was so pretty graphic. I was like, no, nah, he's not gonna. He's doing it. He's, he's running. Doing toward, it. He's running towards the cop car, and just all of a sudden, just so close. So close. Yeah, so, so far. Close. And too, in the forest, like there's a scene where she's the, just spoiling all. Of it. She's yeah, just let's it. talk about it. Let's just say the Go. whole movie. Oh, every yeah. scene. You're, we're, Do we're, it because I want to talk about it. It's good. Okay, they're in the scene. They're running. The main kid is running, and then all of a sudden, like you know, he's like, "Like you go distract him. You run that way." And guess what? He slices his Achilles tendon. Oh, yeah. The oh. the. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was scared the shit out of me. I just accepted fate. <laughs> I was like, "Well, we well, almost my died." Time. It's my time. Huh. It's That's. Down. Uh, oh my yeah, god, the demons are starting. here. It's already oh starting. Where are you at, pussies? <laughs> <Come on. laughs> Don't. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, yeah, like the friend slices his Achilles, kills his ass. I don't remember exactly what he does. He falls into the pit with all the the bodies that oh, were decomposing. Yeah. And then he like takes the main kid and is like, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to let you live, but I will come for you. Dude, At hit. some point in your life, you won't know when it's going to happen, mm. but I'm going to come get you. He says, death is too good or too quick for you. Yeah. And he's like, you ruined everything for me. And his, like, speech. And then at the Dude, end, the next scene where like, the kid's literally curled up in fetal position, just sobbing. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's I what it is. Like, yeah, and kidding? the movie's yeah. over. The movie ends with, like, oh, the killer's out there. He's going to come get that kid someday. And, like, like his other friends don't it? talk to him anymore. Like... The other it's friend like, like the, moves over, like leaves, like it's the ultimate like don't snitch. It was just what happens. Okay, but he was next on the list because he snitched. He knew he was watching them. Man, this is a good movie. It was pretty good. It was. Uh, I went into it with very low expectations. 
So I would it. I understand. It exceeded it my is, It is a Tony recommendation, so you never know what you're going to get. And also, too, like, it's always so hit or miss when, like, kids are, like, the main. True. Because you just never know, like, what kind of acting you get or, like, the storyline could be, like, really, like, corny and weird. Like, and I'm just like, yeah. But this was actually a pretty good movie. I'd watch it. Um, It's on Shudder. I would give it, like, a six and a half. Six and a half. Out of ten. Maybe, maybe ah, seven. Yeah, Damn. easy seven. Easy. But I wouldn't, a seven is like, I would probably watch it again. I probably wouldn't watch you it You just again. said you'd probably watch it again. No, I didn't. You said I'd probably watch it, actually. I said that? Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't. Run it back. <laughs> did I say that? You did say I'd watch it. You said I'd probably watch well, it. Well, you did. It well, like, after, after knowing, like, after now knowing that I would like it. Do you still if you could that? go back in time yeah. to your younger self before I recommended it to you, I wouldn't have watched it without you'd, knowing. You'd been like, "Hey, I, well, I watched this movie. You should watch it." Without you assigning it as homework, I would not have watched that movie. Yeah, Man. but I now knowing good. what it actually was and seeing it, I wouldn't watch it again. But oh god, <laughs> I'm so confused. I can't. Hey, I'm Did you guys watch any other movies? No, I haven't oh. had time. Oh. I'm still moving. Hey, guess what? House. I watched two. Let's hear it. And I loved them both. Rattle them off. First one I watched, The Visit. Oh, I yeah. I have heard about this movie. By M. Night Shyamalan. Yes. It is great. Lay and nice. I read, like, this was M. Night. Like, he made a deal with the studio. It was something like, if I do this, let me make The Visit, and you guys leave me alone. So it's like him without any, like, it's it's M. Night Unleashed. Do you remember that guy that said his favorite director was M. Night Shyamalan? But he's oh, no, never no, he didn't say it was his favorite director. He said the greatest filmmaker of all time <laughs> but. was M. Night. And then we were like, oh, yeah, dude, Signs is great. And he's like, what Signs? Oh, we're like, my, only the best movie he's what? ever made. <laughs> I know he never will, but god damn it, I wish he could hear us talk about it. He needs, uh, he needs help. The Visit is my favorite M. Night movie. What's it about? About these two kids, uh, their grandparents want them to come visit because their grandparents have never met them. Their mom is kind of estranged from her parents. They have like a falling out, so they don't haven't spoken in years and years and years. So the grandparents message one day, they're like, hey, we'd like to see our grandkids. You know, we're getting old. We're not getting that much time. Got it. And the mom has a boyfriend, you know, kind She's of like, thing. I want some alone time. Yeah. So the kids are like, hey, this is a great time. We'll go. Like, the kids are like 14, 15. Okay. The kids are like, we'll go visit our parents. You go on this cruise with your boyfriend. It'll be awesome. Cool. And they go to visit the parents. And at first, it's kind of cool. And then weird shit starts happening in the middle of the night with their grandma every night at 1030 p.m. The grandma just essentially loses it and turns into like. Not turns into, but like mentally is like a monster. It's like some Evil Dead Rise stuff. Kind of, yeah. Like she's like scratching at their door. She's running around like on her hands. Oh, and shit. No, like, yeah. No, she's no, running around. She's doing it. one of these kind of running around it. things. That is one of the creepiest things that you can show in yeah, a movie. Dude, it's super People creepy. People like looking yeah. like a spider crawling um, around. Mm -mm. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I won't spoil it from at this moment. So I'll just give you the heads up that I'm about to spoil it. <laughs> Spoiler. Um, so uh, basically the grandma gets to the point where she's going to try to kill these kids one night. She has a knife, and she's outside their bedroom door. And the kids are uh, planting a camera. The whole movie is shot from the point of view of the kids' cameras because the oldest daughter wants to make a documentary about meeting their grandparents for the first time. Love Very it. Sweet. So it's so like it's, found footage. It's kind of like it. found footage, okay. yeah. Love it. Uh, so they put like a camera outside their bedroom door, and they see their grandma outside with a knife, and they're like, oh, shit. So the next day... They get their mom on FaceTime, and they're like, their mom's supposed to come pick them up that night, and they're like, you need to come get us right now because. She's like, oh, is mom doing the thing again? Basically, she's like, they're just weird. They're old people. Like, the whole time, they're. That's, it's only the, the grandma? Well, the grandpa's weird, too. Oh, okay. Because so he's, far, it's only the grandma as, going he's crazy. He's not going to ask, like, not as crazy, but he's just like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways. So they've been telling their mom, like, yeah, grandma's doing this and this. And the mom's just like, yeah, she's just kind of weird. Don't worry about it, whatever. So then the day comes where, like, you need to come get us right now. Grandma's trying to literally kill us. And she's like, what are you talking about? Like, She's like, stop, honey. I'm getting laid. She's like, well, no, she's home now. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, and she's like, where are your grandparents right now? And they're like, oh, they're out in the backyard. And they show, like, the camera so their mom sees their backyard. And their mom goes... That's not your grandparents. <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is giving me chills. Where are your grandparents? 
And they're like, what do you mean? Like, where are like, these? She's like, you've been with these people the whole time? They're like, yes. Wait, so she didn't even come in to, like, drop them off? Like, no, they, the mom? No, they took, like, a, they traveled there on a train, and the grandparents took them from the train station. Bro. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. It, wow. So That's a then, twist. like, they're mm-hmm. stuck at the grandparents. They're waiting for their mom to get there, and it's just a very crazy-ass game of Yahtzee goes down because it's like, oh, it's 1030 at night. We're still out here, Grandma. We know what happens around this time. Oh, no. Uh, I knew this was coming in the movie. The whole reason I watched the movie was because I saw this on TikTok, somebody talking about it. Uh, something happens with a diaper. I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Like, I'm just going to have to watch this movie. Eat it? You guys just got to watch the movie. I got to watch the movie. I swear to God. Um, and hang in there. Because when I started the movie, I didn't like it. Mm. Because it's like we just mentioned, like any time there's a movie where it's focused on the kids – you're like, oh, boy. Mm-hmm. And, yes, it starts off like the little kid, he wants to be a rapper. So you're just like, I hate this kid. <laughs> but by the end of the movie, you're like, this kid rocks. <laughs> like, I love this kid. Man, uh, uh, what would you watch it on? Uh, Max. Max, okay. Oh, yeah. I don't have the on. Max, it's on there. Would but you read it? I would give it like 8 out of 10. This Dang. actually sounds like something I would want to watch. It's pretty solid. Yeah. Yo, could you imagine? Okay, imagine – does it ever explain why she was yes. estranged from her parents? That's all explained. It's explained who the – everything is explained, like who these oh, people are, where their grandparents really are. Thanks, M. Night Shyamalan, for giving us up. a nice – Yeah. It's not nice. Wrapped up well, – it's wrapped up with a nice little bow. It's I mean, not nice. I mean, what happens? No loose ends. Uh, no, but I meant no like, loose ends. I meant like the movie is starts and finishes, and you go, "Thank you, that was a good, yes. mm, it is mm, a good that was package. a good meal, <laughs> yummy." It even ends with like a nice little like, <laughs> by the way, kind of thing. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Too? I do. Exactly. We walk I out know, of the exactly. theater and go, like, "I'm satisfied." That, yeah. that hit yeah. the spot. That's mm. how I felt. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, know, like, I finished the movie. I'm like, see, because so many movies I watch. Everybody knows when you're like, "That was just the right amount." I'm ready to go do stuff, man. There's like a, that was just a good film. So many movies I watched that I don't like. Yeah. Or I finish it and I'm just like, man, eh. But this one I was like, I liked it. You've had to kiss a lot of frogs. Yeah. To get to your I did. visit. Uh, last <laughs> night. Frogs, man. <laughs> last night I started. Yeah, okay, Brian, I'm sure. I started watching another movie Shit. last night. <laughs> You're just talking about that. We were. I won't say the name of it because it's a small little indie movie. It's The Exorcist. But I didn't like it. So I turned it off after 10 minutes. And then I watched Boar. Oh, Ooh. love Boar. On Boar's Shutter. so good. Boar on Shutter. It's got Bill Mosley in it. It was from, you name a horror movie, he's connected to it. Texas okay. Chainsaw Massacre 2 is what he's mostly over. Devil's Rejects, House of a Thousand Corpses. You also know, like Hard Hitters. Really? So like, like, yeah. Um, Nathan Jones from WWE. But he's from Mad Max Free Road. He's the guy that goes, all right, up, baby, brother. He's that guy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the guy that played Mick from Wolf Creek is in it. If you saw Wolf Creek, Mick, he's the killer. He's Mick. He's, he's, he's Spoiler Mick. Spoiler alert. Come on. Uh, but basically, it's just it takes place in Australia. It's just family on a little road trip, and there's a giant boar just eaten. I had no idea how big they could get. But not just a – it's not just like a, a nice, normal-looking boar. No, it's this like – This thing's the, a monster boar. It's like the size of a small bus. But the kills are dope. Yeah, and this thing is just like – On a rampage. Yeah, dude, like yeah. you ain't messing around. I was worried it'd be kind of like, oh, you're not going to see too much of the boar kind of thing. But no, you see the boar. and it's, I was worried that we were going to see the boar, but it was going to be super lame and terrible. And I was wrong. I went into it that movie rules thinking it was going to be super lame mm-hmm. but in a fun way like yeah. a like a sharknado kind of thing you know and yeah yeah but it was like it's like more serious it, it is, actually is pretty good you don't think it's going to be a quality movie but it actually turns out dude, to be pretty solid the acting in it is great mm-hmm. and like the characters are really great and the story is like and almost everyone's very likable simple, but it's good. yeah like yeah Towards like the last like half hour of the movie, you're like, I don't want you to die. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, but at the same time, you're like, man, I want to see Nathan Jones fist fight this giant boar, and you get it. Guess what? He f- fights him with his. Bare well, hands. he's well, using he, all these weapons, and he's got nothing left, yeah. and he's just go, go, go. It's and it's so sad because he's getting like stabbed with a tusk, getting and he's like, stabbed when oh, the boar's like ripping him up, and he's just. You're trying not on the boar side in this movie. No, you're not. No, no because no. you like like the characters are really great. The people are like pretty there's, cool. There's uh, yeah. Mick from Wolf Creek, and there's this other old dude, and there's a sequence where they're like, 
all right, there's a campfire. What are they doing out there? And they're like just bickering with each other. And you're mm-hmm. like, I want a whole movie with just these two guys. It's so funny, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The way like they the way they shoot back and forth. And everybody it felt ever, like re- real people. Everybody in the bar was like super cool. Like the Aborigine dude, and you're like, oh man, he's cool. I just want to yeah. like shake his hand. They're all just like busting each other's chops. Yeah, it's like great. they talk like Australia is the best. It's a feel people. good movie, and then it's just like, oh fuck. This yeah. is one bad pig. How do you get introduced to the boar and like why it's so bad? Just gotta watch it. I man. mean, the first minute, well, like, I'm not. first two minutes uh, of the movie. It's good though. It's Within not a Tony movie. Minutes. It's a good movie. It's not a Tony movie. I promise. It's a good. Yeah. It's a good like slasher. You get a lot of dead people. I don't. I just don't want to see it get killed. Does it? Or get like killed? it gets stabbed or whatever. But the boar never dies. Because so the real boar was this is a lot. bad boar. He bad boar. He's, he's a bad. He's a bad boar. What if he hurts other animals? What animals are they? Other boars. All of them. Oh, he hurts everything. He hates everything. He hates he's everything. like a boar with rabies. Needs to be he put kills down. fences and cars and people. I don't people give a shit about fences and cars. He just destroys everything in his path. But yeah. maybe he has a great backstory of like, they killed his family. And then he got 10 times the size of a normal hog. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's really good. His rage like made him I grow. Want, like just like. He fell into a radioactive hole. vet. It made me want to see like a Bill Mosley, Nathan Jones buddy movie. Well, like tell the him. two of them, because they did Joe's just this giant dude, and like you should, uh, you I, should tweet at them. I that did might, last that night. That might happen. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Already, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. already yeah. there. All right. <laughs> dude, and also, we need Nathan Jones in more movies. I think. Yeah. Well, this hey, proves it. What time is it? Are we gonna miss our movie? Yeah, we gotta. No, because we're gonna go see Late Night with the Devil, and it starts in an hour and a half. We got plenty of time, okay. but we should probably get going. We gotta yeah, get going. Yeah, we got we gotta we get gotta wrapped get up. Um. That was amazing. Don't forget, uh, everybody, to head over to Patreon, become a member, so you can try to win the right. Carve with Light Ouija stash box. Watch the Gabriel, planchette come back in on here. top. We want, we want to get, go. we want to get your, uh, your opinion on Found this. It. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, my my seat is. Uh, the planchette is gone. God, uh, broke it. Drop oh, it's right under over there. The, it's under the table. Uh, but yes, once a month oh, we will be is. giving away a Carve with Light Ouija stash box. Um, if you're on Patreon, you have to be a paid member on Patreon. You can't join that free Patreon. You got it. These are, yeah, these beautiful, are handmade, so beautiful, handmade, spooky boxes where you can stash whatever you want in it. What would you stash in this, Brian? Panties. Panties. That's what we said last time. Yeah. Remember? You're just stealing my jokes. Open it up, and you got like a nice, cool little mirror in there, and it's all. Cool and velvety inside. A little planchette. You move it around to the code and it unlocks it. How do you like set the code? It it's already preset. Oh. Yeah. But if you want your own custom one handmade, yeah. you can get it completely handmade and custom made by him. So that way you can get your own uh, colors and, and all the different stuff. Because every one of these is different. He makes mm-hmm. them all different colors and and uh, stuff like that. So mm-hmm. if you want a custom one, you can go to Carved with Light on Instagram and his Etsy. And you can actually get your own custom version and uh, get whatever code word you want. Um, we need you to inspect this close up. I would love to. How does this, how, so how do you do it? Okay, so the code on this one is key. Okay. So start at K okay. and then just spell key and it'll unlock. K E. Whoa. Wow. 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 That was just really fun to do. Actually. Isn't that cool? Like, right? It's wasn't, super if I had satisfying. This box, that's all I would do. It's super satisfying. It's and so it's such cool. a good idea. Like, it's genius. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and really well made too. They're awesome. So, really cool. anyways. Uh, obviously, sign up to our Patreon because why not? Duh. Because why not? Because why not? Why oh, not? and also you could win this Ouija You could win but. that. You get added to our close friends on Instagram. You get added to the Discord. You get you bonus get, uh, mini-sodes. You get, what's the other one? Monday, Monday morning, morning. Our other podcast on there. <laughs> you get Morbid, Morbid morning. You get discounts on merch. I just mailed all of our tier three members, their friendship bracelets the past week, they've did all they, been Did they all pictures. break did apart on entrance? Some of them did. Because Tony <laughs> thought he was being oh, a really nice. good guy, and he was like, I'm only going to just do a quick little loose knot just to hold it together so when everybody gets it, they can adjust it themselves. Yeah. 
Well, he didn't double knot it, and that elastic stuff immediately untangles, and all the beads spilled everywhere like five times. So, apologies if you open the mail and there's a necklace with a bunch of beads and a piece of string in there. That's our. What is this supposed to be? That tells a lot about our friendship. Like actually pay a lot to have like that pre-made stuff sent so that they can then make it themselves. So maybe that's like the actual. Okay, well, so I fixed some of them. So the letters spell scaredy. You can spell whatever you want, but they're supposed to. But you only have those letters. S a s c a r e d y. Car, yeah. Cards. The, so if your name is like Darcy or <laughs> like Cad, you're yeah. great. Oh, Cad. <laughs> or Rad. You just put Rad Ooh. on there. <laughs> or just scared. Just perpetually scared. Scar. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, Love goodbye. Me. Uh, Love me. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Am I out of the loop? Yep. I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know what just happened. I'm just down here. <laughs> Long live the oh, king. All right, goodbye. Bye, goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 See you all next week. Bye.